champion to her limit, and she lived to tell about it. One of the best matches I've ever seen because of that, Steven. Serpentine almost gained a big upset, and right here she is, looking at us like a snake that she is. And of course, her opponent tonight is somebody who also took the champion to her limits, Reina Reyes. You got that right. Tessa Blanchard thinking she's hand-picking these opponents, but when they get in the ring, they are ready to take the shot. But the one she's running from is the Beast. The Beast is in the main event tonight. It doesn't get much more beastly than a serpentine, though. And her opponent, she is the Pearl of the Philippines. If you want to learn more about Rena and all the wild superheroes, simply go to WOWE.com. And of course, go to at Wild Superheroes on any social media platform and join the wow world. As we all know recently, both of these competitors battled the champion, Tessa Blanchard, taking her to the edge of almost defeat. Who will shake off their loss to Tessa Blanchard first? Will it be the Pearl of the Philippines? Or will it be the Serpentine Queen? Well, interestingly enough, I have a suspicion that the Pearl of the Philippines has some connection to Sofia Lopez because it was Sofia Lopez that told Rena Reyes to come into my office right at the exact time Tessa Blanchard said, I'll take the person that walks through the door. So Rena was a part of the conspiracy or used as a pawn? So it doesn't seem like she looked into that title opportunity at all. Well, we don't know. And now we've got the two competitors that had their shots at the championship, and this is going to be a great one. Serpentine, well-traveled athlete, been all over the world twice and lived to tell about it. And we've got her against Reina Reyes, again, trained by the world-famous Lance Storm, submission expert and a high flyer. She can do it all in that ring, and she does do it all. But Serpentine, as we saw, has a very snake-like mentality when it comes to how she approaches the ring. Reina Reyes is down. Serpentine's going to hook her into a submission here. Reina Reyes, is she going to give up? Referee Eddie Farr checking on the Pearl of the Philippines. Serpentine's down. Reina Reyes reversing it. And again, she's got her in that submission maneuver. Very dangerous, very skilled when it comes to the human anatomy. Rena Reyes knows that the agility of Serpentine comes from her legs, and that's why she went immediately for the legs. Serpentine is going to try to cut off the head of this snake, and the head isn't possibly the head, it's the legs on this snake, because that's what makes Serpentine so dangerous in her flying maneuvers in the ring. Absolutely well said, David. Rena Reyes, that, she's got her. She's got her almost thought it was a triangle choke, but she's got her in a wrist lock. Bending back those fingers, wrenching that wrist. Serpentine, though, that phenomenal core strength. She's going to use it. She's got to use it to fight out of this one. Arena Reyes could take advantage, and this could spell defeat for Serpentine, but not today. There it is, those legs, that core strength. Cover, but only a one count. Referee Eddie Firth, these two have each other incredibly well scouted, as we're seeing right now. They hold a respect for each other, and that's clear. Of course, we saw the Pearl of the Philippines, Reina Reyes, shedding her identity of Azteca. And now she lives as Reina Reyes, the Pearl of the Philippines. But Serpentine doesn't care who she's in the ring with. Azteca, Reina Reyes, she's going to chop whoever is against her, and she's going to bring it. Serpentine. That series of maneuvers was so fast, I couldn't keep up with it. There it is, springboard into the arm drag. The pearl is reeling. Serpentine, chopped to the chest. I thought it was the throat. You thought the chest. I thought the chest, you thought the throat. Flips her down with an arm drag of her own. Serpentine makes the cover one, two, and a kick out by Reyna Reyes. Referee Eddie first signaling to us over here at the booth. It was just a two count. Reyna Reyes against the rope, Serpentine in control of this one. Where was she? Arm drag, arm drag by Reyna Reyes. There she is. Oh, my gosh. On to the third rope, back into the ring, and Serpentine flipped over. Reyna Reyes is on the attack. These two are so skilled. These are maneuvers I've never thought of. Look at that back flip into the arm drag. Unbelievable. These two are like painters, and their canvas is the canvas of the squared 
circle. Reyna Reyes, she's got Serpentine. Split down into the slam. Kick out. Leg drop across the throat of Serpentine. Reyna Reyes soaking in the adulation of the fans. Serpentine on the outside to catch her breath. That ring apron has been torn down from all these high-flying moves. Serpentine with a drop kick. Reyna Reyes is down on the outside. You can't win a match on the outside. These two have to take the fight back into the ring. Well, they're both going to the outside. Serpentine has Reyna Reyes on the outside. She's in firm control of this contest. And a chop to the chest. Reyna Reyes. Serpentine oh, no. on those legs. Oh, no. oh, my. Trying to take that knee out. We talked about the Pearl of the Philippines taking the legs out from Serpentine earlier. Now Serpentine trying to take those legs out from the Pearl of the Philippines. They both have a very similar style, and they know exactly where to attack on each other. Referee Eddie Firth, he's got a lot of, he's got a lot in sort of, he's got a lot in hand to keep Sofia Lopez out of this one, and that's exactly what she's doing. Look at her. She's distracting referee Eddie Firth, but Serpentine, she's getting control of this match. She's got the, a unique sharpshooter variation locked in on Reina Reyes. Reina is into the middle of the ring, and that's not where you want to be with this sharpshooter. Reyna Reyes, she is in the center of the ring. She has to get to a rope. Nope, the hold was broken. Serpentine showing a brief moment of mercy there, going back to attack the legs. Serpentine dragging Reyna Reyes to the ropes. There's her advisor, her lawyer, Sofia Lopez on the outside, wrenching that leg against the bottom rope. Now Sofia Lopez having a little fun while she's out there too. Have you ever seen a lawyer get involved in a wrestling match? But Sofia you know, Lopez has been very close a few times. You think about it. Serpentine, the snake. She's got a lawyer representing her coming to ringside, and most lawyers are what? Snakes. There you go. Absolutely. I was going to say ambulance chasers, but I thought better of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a match made in heaven. Absolutely. Reyna Reyes is tied up in the rope. Serpentine taking full advantage here. Still working on that leg. Reyna Reyes, that high-flying ability is going to be limited with the way Serpentine's attacking her leg. It's like a boxer hitting you into the midsection, hitting you into the ribs, hitting you into the kidneys. Those body blows take their punishment. And this is what's happening to the legs of Reyna Reyes. Serpentine has now come up with a strategy to win this match. Reyna Reyes' leg has been worked over like none other. Serpentine wisely, wisely, and then she goes back into that single leg, single leg crab. Shades of Reyna Reyes' trainer, Lance Storm, there. That knee could be popping. She better be doing yoga, the hyperextension at risk here. Reyna Reyes desperately needs to fight back in this one because Serpentine has had firm control for a good portion of this contest. And it looks like she's got victory in hand. But Reyna Reyes, she's got that fighting spirit. She's got the people of the Philippines behind her. She's got the spirit of the Aztec warriors behind her. She's got the tools and the instruments she needs to fight back. But can she? There it is. Blows to the midsection. Blows to the chest. Serpentine's reeling. That one went to the throat. And there she goes, European uppercut. Elbow smash. European uppercut. Team. The snake slithered out of that one. Reversal. Next, fans, is that Tag Team Championship Series match that I was dreaming about a week ago. We made it happen. Holiday and Siren in there against Fury and Razor of the Psycho Sisters. That is going to be up next. Here we go. Reyna Reyes backed into the corner. Serpentine back in control. Familiar position for her in this match. It seems like Serpentine was watching that match between Reyna and Tessa. Double knees to the chest because she has been able to take out the legs of Reyna Reyes, effectively limiting that high-flying ability. Cannonball! Cannonball into the corner. Cannonball into the corner. Serpentine is feeling it right now. Up against the ropes.
vicious strike. Reina Reyes is down. Reina Reyes is down. One, two. I thought that was it. I didn't think she had any more left in her. Referee signaling it was only two. Serpentine signaling that the end is near. She's ready to end this match. And Reina Reyes is not ready to say, I'm done. She's got her up. Reina Reyes fights out of it, though. Kick, but no Serpentine out of Scott. A kick to the face. Serpentine's on her knees. She's dazed. Reina needs to take control. Sofia Lopez trying to distract the referee. Spinning nice kick. Spinning kick. Beautiful spinning kick to the face. Serpentine's down. One, two. Oh, wait. Sofia Lopez. In that spin kick, Reina Reyes was unable to get all she wanted. Her left leg collapsed on her. Absolutely. She could not get everything that she wanted out of it. Sofia Lopez bought her client time, and now Serpentine took advantage of it. Serpentine took advantage of the Wall Street as a The Serpent Driver drove Reina Reyes into the mat and gave Serpentine the victory. These highlights demonstrate that Reina Reyes had the disadvantage of Sofia Lopez at ringside. And as you can see, the outcome may have been different absent Sofia at ringside. But that's not the case as Serpentine jams Reina Reyes and gets the victory.